Right guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm playing five holes at Wareham. It's now got to that time in the year where I actually play some holes after work, which was nice. Playing the first hole and I put it into the trees, but looks like I've got a very lucky kick and it's kicked straight into the fairway. It's perfect. I'm gonna test out my wedge matrix which I made in the last video so which I'll link up in the top corner um, and let's see if I can get a bit better with my wedges so um, this is what I've got in so my dry finish with my three wood Guys, so this is where mine finished up. Hit these trees up here and just fell straight down. So I've got 91 to the pin, and this is what I've just done with my wedge yardages. Okay, so I reckon an easy sand wedge would be perfect. Guys, well this is my first round on video of 2023. Hasn't exactly gone to plan so far, but um, one good putt and it's starting off with a par, so could be a lot worse. So um, yeah, just came up a little bit short there. Probably got about a 12-ish foot of a uh, par. Let's see if I can hold it. Oh, how lovely it is to come out and play after work. It's been way too long. Second, par four, 374 yards, basically straight over that striped pole there. Um, and then you can sort of see the green in the distance up there. Well, it seems like this tailor made is my lucky ball because I'm not quite sure how it ended up there. Must have kicked off of one of these trees and I've got perfect line in now. So this was the hole that my good friend Harley Argentino actually got a hole in one on this year um, and you'll be seeing him on the channel this year for sure um, and last year when he got a hole in one on this hole the week before he got another hole in one so he had two hole in ones in two weeks so yeah you will for sure be seeing him on the channel very shortly so hopefully we could get a hole in one on the channel that'd be nice even if it's not me, it'd be good to get one on film. Well guys, I don't know if anyone else gets this as well, but you can put a lot of practice in over the winter months, obviously at the range, working on your swing, you can hit perfect shots on dry range. Um, but there's nothing like actually getting out on the golf course and obviously playing golf. Guys, as you can tell, I'm still really struggling with the swing. Obviously making these big swing changes at the moment. Um, and it's probably making me think too much about where I am in the swing, um, rather than actually just looking at target and 
allowing the, the work to just sort of flow into the swing. Now I've got a ridiculously tricky up and down. No green to work with. Might have to pull out the flop shot. So guys, I do apologize about the standard of golf at the moment. Uh, yeah, not great. But like I said, I wanna show you everything for real and not just show you all of the rounds where I've played well. So yeah, it's a starting point. Hopefully things can only go up from here. But we're on to the fifth hole. Uh, off the wind to mats again. 266 yards going up there towards the green. So anyone that's tried filming and playing golf will understand the struggle of it. It um, wasn't until I started trying to film myself play golf uh, was when I started to realise how difficult it is. Um, I mean, playing golf anyway is tricky enough as it is. <laughs> yes, that was a shank. That's the first shank on the channel. But then when you're having to film it, there's so many other things to think about. And I've always found, when I've played my best golf, the less thinking, the better. So yeah, just trying to still get used to it. Obviously, I've only been doing YouTube for four months now. Um, but I'd like to keep consistent with it and keep putting out content. So yeah, it's just a learning thing and trying, obviously, not to think too much about different things and uh, most of the time I'm filming all this myself on my phone um, but yeah it would be nice to at some point get someone to do some filming and yeah I might get Jack or Harley involved when I play some golf with them and we can share the load with the filming so yeah all the learning experience trying to get better each time with it um, and obviously trying to play some better golf but T shot actually ended up okay, like I said, I didn't strike it good, but it did have the shape I wanted, so I'm just up here by the bunker, um, and I should have a good yardage in to use my wedge mix. guys so that is the end of five holes ended up five uh, ended up four over through five holes so not the best but hopefully we can improve on that in the next video